my name is uh, Fran Schwank, and I'm the head football coach at Williams River College. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you to the media for the uh, support you've given us and that you did give us, and it uh, means a lot to us. Uh, this is at a, an outstanding league as the coaches have said. I spent 21 years uh, in the Great Plains Athletic Conference, and uh, coming down here, having the opportunity to come down here, it's just uh, it's been a, it's been another step up. I, I think. Uh, Week in and week out, we have some of the best athletes uh, in this part of the country in this league and, and great coaches. Uh, these guys before me have done a great job. They got me all excited about uh, this year and worried about winning the game. I tell you, it's, uh, you know, it's just very competitive. But uh, I'd like to at this time just uh, recognize a man that uh, spent many, many years at William Jewell College. And I know a lot of people in this room remember him, and that's uh, Coach Jim Nelson. Jim had coached at uh, William Jewell College for 41 years, and he was actually not only the head football coach, head basketball coach, but he, had, he was also the head coach of 14 other sports. He coached 16 sports all his time there at uh, Jewell, and uh, he passed away about two weeks ago. And, and uh, I had a lot of great players back to, to recognize him. I know Dan Harris was there, and uh, you know, it was just great hearing the stories of, of, uh, Dr. of uh, Jim Nelson, Coach Nelson, and, all the success that they've had at William Jewell over the years. As I say, it's, it's an honor for me to be there. And we have come in here, this will, be, this will start the fourth season, I'm coming here with the same philosophy that I've had for the number of years that I've coached, and that's just to build the stability and, and, and retention. Uh, I was really feeling good uh, up until uh, Coach got up here and said he had 34 seniors come back, and Alan, that's tremendous. Uh, we have worked very hard. Uh, we're at the point now we'll have 22 seniors this year. And I think it's an excellent uh, group of young men to, to start with. Uh, out of those 22 seniors, uh, we have a couple all-conference players coming back. Uh, Ryan Florence out of uh, Hickman High School, uh, excuse me, uh, Columbia, Missouri, Hickman High School. Uh, we also have a strong safety in, in Eric Johnson, who I believe that probably no, but no less than 12 NFL teams have been contacted him this summer and been in to see him or lined up to come in and see him. So I think he's really a, a legitimate player for the next level. Uh, also a free safety all-conference player in Clayton Hewitt, uh, one of the few uh, couple eight-man players that we have on our team. Uh, uh, a couple years ago, about five years, seasons ago, we were ranked number 17th in the nation at the school that I was at. And the 11 of our 22 play, uh, starters were eight-man football players. And uh, we do have a few on the William Jewell squad and we'll continue to recruit them. They're just great kids. And to them, William Jewell is, you know, is their Notre Dame. You know, they just they really enjoy playing the game. Uh, some of the players that we have that uh, we're going to rely very heavily on this year that are, that are returning starters for us, we have John Appleby out of Lebanon, Missouri. He's, at the, he's an outside linebacker for us. We have Shane Spencer out of Liberty, Missouri, our hometown, is our starting nose guard. And then we have a young man by the name of Nick Purcell out of Richmond, Missouri. And I'm sure that Bill knows Nick. Uh, Nick is a, uh, our senior quarterback slash wide receiver uh, because backing Nick up and probably competing against him for the starting quarterback position this year is Drew Whitman. I've only redshirted two players in my whole coaching career, and Drew is the second one. Uh, the first one took us to the national playoffs, and we're hoping that Drew will step in. He'll have three more years of eligibility, and he's out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, we got a couple transfers out of Blue Springs, uh, via Blue Springs High School, and we have a Emporia State, and it's Kyle and Chris. Uh, both of them lead to play offensive and defensive line for us, and a good looking young man. Also, another transfer uh, by via Northville, Kansas, uh, Andrew Nolte, an offensive lineman. Uh, we feel very, very fortunate to uh, recruit a freshman by the name of Ethan Cunningham. He's out of South Lake Carroll High School. Uh, if you read the USA Today, he was the sixth leading receiver in the nation in high school last year. And we feel very, very fortunate to have Ethan with us. I have a pair of running backs uh, that are ready to go. Uh, we lost a good one last year in uh, Leon Wiggins, but we have a young man by the name of Jarrell Johnson out of Pilot Point, Texas. That's probably going to be his, uh, a good running back as, as we'll have in the league, I, I believe. Uh, you know, he's outstanding in Maine. He stands about 6'2", about 2'10", and uh, he's an excellent player. Also, a young man that uh, shared a little bit of running time last year with Monte Whitley out of Reedtown High School is pretty exciting. 
have a young man, a return man, that's uh, out of, uh, basically out of the University of Northern Colorado by the way of Northern High School in Aurora. And that's uh, Christian, Christian Jones is the young man's name. And uh, I had started to have a great year last year. Uh, we had him early in the season until he got injured and uh, he was a big difference for us early and he'll be back and ready to go for us. Uh, we felt we had an excellent recruiting class uh, two years ago. You know, we have some uh, outstanding sophomores that will be battling for starting positions this year. We have Andrew Clark out of Harrisonville High School, an offensive lineman. We have Mark Grister, another young man out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, defensive lineman. Uh, we have Cody Sharp out of Glendale High School in Springfield. And we have a Nathan Valentine out of Putnam County uh, High School. Uh, basically, uh, you know, a local man that uh, that you know we feel really good about and uh, should you know really do a, a, a help us out this year as the sophomores and years to come. I also do want to say a thank you to Jason Danley. He does such a super job for the NAI. Uh, we couldn't ask for a better you know a better man in the position that he's done and what he's done for us. And uh, Jason, I just want to add a little bit to that story you talked about the kickoff classic. Uh, Dome College, I think overall it might have changed a little bit at one time as the sixth winning this program in the nation and then the I, uh, team that we're going to play, a team that I was at for 20, 21 years. Uh, when they came into that game, that middle water bowl game, they had lost the game, as Casey said, in two years. Uh, they were 18-0-1. They had tied one game. Uh, they played William Jewell to a 14-14 tie that, that day. And then Dome went on to go two more years with, uh, without a loss. So they ended up 33-0-2 in four years. So uh, it's a premier program. And we are very, very honored. I'm very honored. Uh, it's a no-win situation for me. But uh, for the two schools to get together and have William Jewell playing Dome uh, on August 30th at Platt County High School Stadium. So it'll be, a, it'll be a great game. We will recognize as many people from those past teams as we can before the game, as well as about 14 past presidents from the Mineral Water Bowl Committee. Uh, we've been in contact with a lot of them. So it'll be a, it'll be a neat thing. It'll be you know, a tradition, and it'll be a great thing for NAI football. But I want to say best wishes to all the coaches here. I respect each one here very, very highly. It's, uh, it's anybody's game on any, on, on any given Saturday here in this conference. Uh, you know, it's, it doesn't make a difference who's playing. It's, you know, you have to play the whole game and play it out because any one of these uh, men sitting up here in any one of these schools could be a champion this year. So I really feel, as ending up here, that this is our fourth season. Uh, we've gotten, I think, I really the way we've turned that corner. I really think that uh, we can step on the field and we can, you know, we can win with, with anybody. So uh, we're really, you know, we're very excited about it and looking forward to it. And again, uh, to the media, thank you so very much for what you do for us. Thank you.